I was asked about the methods I use to produce the Litchi software videos, so I thought it might be fun to show the tools and techniques I use. The computer system probably has mid-level capability. The laptop is a Toshiba Satellite P875-S7310, upgraded with a 2TB hard drive. A second monitor is a 19-inch Princeton, rotated to portrait mode, which I use to write documentation for the videos and from which I read and record the script. I rarely record voice simultaneously with other activities, since doing too many things at once makes for more mistakes and choppy narration. I record the narration with a Rode mic, which I purchased to use with my Nikon D7000 camera. I now use the mic more on the computer than on the camera. I record to the computer using SoundForge Audio Studio software. I can record and edit as necessary. I now normalize the audio so the segment volumes are the same. When I need to record the computer screen for some segment, as with the previous SoundForge segment, I use LightCam HD. LightCam lets me set a variety of parameters. I use video mode to record without sound, since most audio is pre-recorded and mixed with the video during video editing. Since my computer screen isn't proportional to HD video, I use a setting which is proportional. I set the software to record the mouse pointer and show the clicks with a burst of color. I used Corel screen capture to do the recording of LightCam so color bursts aren't present. I use an iPad Air 2 for my flight planning and for flights. To record planning on the computer I use Air Server. This mirrors the iPad screen to the computer. While Air Server will record the screen, I still use LightCam to record so I can show the mouse clicks. There is a little sleight of hand to show a mouse click and get the iPad to do something. Normally I just click on the computer screen where I will tap on the iPad screen. If I do it quickly the mouse seems to be running the iPad. If I need a quick screenshot from the iPad I use the screen capture capability. You capture the current iPad screen by pressing the home button and quickly pressing the sleep-wake button. I captured the Litchi menu using this technique. When flying a mission for a tutorial, I usually use the Litchi screen recording capability to record the flight. Using this, you can see the aircraft moving through the mission, as in this mission segment. Still images for the videos are shot with several still cameras. Most newer still cameras have higher resolution images than HD video, so zooming on the images is effective. I use Vegas Movie Studio as my main video editor because it does a great job of zooming on stills without sacrificing resolution. For example, this 16 megapixel image zooms in many times and still shows good detail. I organize media for the video in a main folder, keeping the script and video production files in that folder. I have folders for audio clips, stills, and video clips. When reasonable, identification of various parts is based on the paragraph number of the narration, like P01, P02, P03A, P03B, etc. As parts of the video are ready to add, I drag the clips stills and audio to the media folder and arrange on the timeline editing as necessary. When ready I make the movie and upload to YouTube. Thank you for viewing.